They're going hog wild here at the Bud Walton Arena in Fayetteville. The Razorbacks playing host to the eighth ranked Alabama Crimson Tide. There's Davidson off the give and go. And there's another block as Hill comes over from the backside. That's his 42nd of the season. And it leads to the first bucket of the game as Sonny Weems hits. Player. And an offensive rebound, not once, but twice off the missed free throw. Charles Thomas gets it in. And the Razorbacks have got it going as they have hit for the first five points of this one. Well, they've lit up the crowd and they've lit up the scoreboard. This crowd is into this basketball game. Alabama's going to have In Arkansas history and block shot. He's a space eater. Not only can he block shots, but he can follow them up. And Stephen Hill has been king of the hill early in this one as Mark Gottfried is forced to take a 30. Team's been all year. Mark Gottfried told us last night it was the first week that they have practiced all week long with Steele and with Jamario Davidson. Davidson misfires and Bama is 0 of 7 from the field. Boy, Weems has hit some tough shots. He missed the one underneath but sticks it back in. And Sonny Weems, three so of four. Uses. Hill's not a strong presence. Offensive down inside, but he'll set mean screens. And there we see the splash and the dagger of Gary Irvin off the screen. Jump shot up and good. Another newcomer, the freshman from Chicago. Beverly hits. Of course, there is Duke and Virginia Tech in overtime. That one went down to a desperation shot last year. Good night. Vincent Hunter into the game. He hits the three. And, get it to go down. and the quick shooting is playing in Alabama's hands. Three on one for the Hogs. Irvin leaves it. No look. And Weems with the finish. Thomas with a shot clock running down. My goodness. Well, Hunter's the most. It was the first road game. First five minutes. The Hogs. They owned it. There's a lot of basketball to be played. G can't connect inside. And look at the Razorbacks run the floor. Well, we said the key for Alabama is transition defense. Arkansas is exposing Alabama simply not getting Arkansas. Beverly got a look. Boy, is, is this young man impressive or what, Coach? But you need ball and man movement. Well, I'm, I'm telling you now. I, I'm no coach, but if you left this is one, it goes a long way today. G has that one swatted away by Towns. Eight blocks for the hog, and look at Beverly convert in transition. Now you want to see some explosion? Watch this gunslinger not only shoot the basketball. You talk. And he comes up with a strip and the lead for Urban. Patrick Beverly has keyed a late second half Arkansas explosion and the Razorbacks have 6-1, 172 pounds soaking wet. But wet. boy, he's got some hops, coach. You watch, you want to see some explosion. Watch this. Oh my goodness. Razorbacks as Patrick Beverly and company trying to pump up this crowd. And they pumped him up with an incredible half of basketball. The Razorbacks all over the tide here in Fayetteville. You see what it does. It breaks down and you get an opportunity even if it doesn't go. The six or seven passes, it breaks the defense down. Hill will set five or six screens a half. Boy, and that is a set play. That's something on the scouting report. Five shots of the second half. And that, my friend, is a high school. 6'8", now at 235 rather than 245. Beverly, gosh almighty. And what a pass inside. What a sweet look for Charles Thomas to do. With everything he's had to deal with outside the lines. Now gets the jumper, the jump hook to go. And Arkansas has got it going again. Again, the seal is on the floor. First game of the conference race. Fans, you've got a great season in store. 
Wow, and look at Thomas. You've talked about that seal the entire second half. There's Irvin back into Thomas. Towns was open. They got it to him late, but he's still able to convert. Man, oh man, oh man. Arkansas is pounding to the Archbishop Carroll High School. Look, look at the pass he made. Produced John Thompson. John Thompson, he's a guy that teaches big man stuff. This guy is basketball. Get it to the high post area. Thrown right to Irvin. Can he convert? Yes, he can. There's not a better player in the country, one-on-one -on -one in the open floor, than Gary Irvin. That is his game, Brooklyn, New York style. You get him one-on-one -on -one in the open court, he's going to drop a bomb on him. Look at the smile on the face and hear the crowd. No smile so on that. Try to find those big guys inside. They've been nailing them. Hunter had a foot on the line as he hits the long two. There's Towns working low against Jemison. Boy, what a strong move inside. That's the kind of player that Stan Heath has the best home record in the SEC. It's a tough place to play, believe me. I can tell you. I brought a 99 team in here. That Arkansas on slot. Coleman spins. Hill didn't challenge him that time with those three fouls. And once again, the Razorbacks on the run. Gary Irvin in the open court. For Arkansas, move the basketball, move yourself, let the defense make the mistake. And there's the guy who's been the player of the game, in my opinion, Gary Irvin, with him and getting through this. Jamario Davidson, a fine young man, a fine player, and our hearts have gone out with him, the whole nation has. And to his family. Pass to Irvin, and Irvin is able to convert. You think Frank Bowles is smart? Oh, my Folks, I'm telling you, they took advantage of room service on that play, my friend. They took advantage of room service. Flying Arkansas Razorbacks, and it's the highest play of the day. Gary Irvin. My, oh, my, oh, my. 16 points. After a tumultuous time, and he brought him through it. Mike Shula did that. Uh, so for the Alabama fans, And the Razorbacks dominant today as they knock off the eighth-ranked Crimson Tide. We're back to wrap things up in Fayetteville right after this.